Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we defeated Setes the Punisher at the likeness of the great evil. Now we're going to talk to Hadid, our old pal. Almost got killed. Yeah, now you guys can bake in the sun. How about that? All right, we can go in the storeroom. Yeah, we want to pick this up. And a leather whip. Yay! I'll be selling it. Yes, we're pretty much done here, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. We got that silly old archaeologist at the palace. You gotta find Dr. Digby. But if you didn't do that party talk, you would be forgiven for just saying, oh, I must be done and leaving, right? Well, yeah, we gotta check up on the old boy. Hopefully you didn't get eaten by a monster or something. Oh, it looks like he's all right. You're gonna stay here, huh? Alright. This guy's like our best buddy now. Oh, yeah, the dig site. Alright, so we get the care package. We gotta give this to the guard, that way we can access the rest of the dig site. Thank you, sir. Oh, come on. He's letting us explore the dig site. What are you complaining about? Anyway, yeah, this place is still a dump, but they're gonna fix it up. Eventually. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't think this guy was that close.
so if you got the kabuff ability for Satesh the Punisher, make use of it. I mean, wow, I get, again, I gained like 230 defense with all party members with that. I had no idea it was that good. I don't think it was that good in the PlayStation version. I think that's the first time I tried using it. Alright, let's go to Layarka again. That seems to be a good location to sail from. Because again, I can't zoom to the dig site. What, another skull? Eh? Ten gold coins this time. I can't be right. Yeah, man. You doubled the price. Those mean grown ups. What the fuck are you saying? It sounded like a monster. I don't even know what the hell it sounded like. Talking skulls? Uh... <laughs> Model of femininity. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Ten tens make a hundred. Yeah, I love how in this game they just let you cut in front of line every time. Oh, I guess the uh, the Great Serpent died again. Paint is starting to peel off. Yeah, let's touch it. Whoa. A screaming... S how did you make it scream? Yeah. So when Dr. Digby took off, this guy came in here and now he's scamming people. Yeah, no touching my ass. This guy is definitely shifty. Uh, we could touch it. We could definitely touch it. Hey, guy. I got a package for you. guy, huh? Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. I'm a sensitive, scrupulous person. The burden of an air and unfulfilled 
weighs heavily on my mind. Yeah, sure it does. You're the one always complaining that I that I'm too nice to people. All right, we get mini metal number thirty-four. I think it's thirty-four. Yep, certainly is. Uh, if you didn't get any of the mini medals from the Haven, that would actually be mini medal number thirty-one. But, but yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I just gotta. Ah, I see. I see how to get to it. Yeah. Dr. Digby's in a better place. Yeah, and the PlayStation version used to be able to leave, you know, just going out this way, but yeah, you gotta go through the fucking tent just to leave this place all of a sudden now in this version. Oh well. Yeah, we're gonna visit it. I mean, who knows? We might get a warm welcome. Yeah, might as well check this out. So we can get a chest here. And we get a Chimera Heart. Yay. Not that I care. Don't look like it's freezing. Oh look, there's a ship down there in case of ice. Wow, what a ship. Arr I want me that ship, me mates. I mean, wow. Where did that come from? I guess that's the pirate in me. I've been wearing these clothes for too long, man. Starting to warp my brain. Anyway. Yeah, that ship will be important later. Much later. It's boiling, it's burning, it's blistering hot. Oh, my poor skin, I'll be right as a lobster in the morning. Yeah, okay. It's even hotter than it was before. Well, that's too bad. Drink water, damn it. 
Beat the heat, drill sergeant, beat the heat! Where are my little treasures? I want my little treasure boxes. Where are you? And yeah, over across there, there's a little hut on the other side of the river. We can't get there though. Not without a certain item. There we go. There's something I can find. Alright, Seed of Agility. Oh, in case I didn't mention before for the Monster Master, the, the uh, Mastery bonus for it is uh, plus 15 to Resilience. So, um, yeah, that's kind of nice. Gabo will get a nice defense boost when he masters it. Speed of jobs, rank 5 with Priest. Yeah, when I uh, get done mastering Priest with Maribel, I'm going to make her into a Sage. And she's pretty much going to be a Sage for the rest of the game. Vet's going to be a Pirate, Gabo's going to be a Monster Masher, and there's two other characters that we uh, recruit. But, yeah, we, we got a while until that happens. But, yeah, man, this fucking place, there's a lot more sand that buried all the old buildings. So it's almost like this town is completely different than what it used to be. Yeah, alright. Quit trying to fucking sell me shit that I don't want. What do you have? It sells diamonds. It's the only thing worth noting. Alright, we get... Mini Metal! Number 35. Yeah. up with this kid, man. Oh. Okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I don't know. It's that toxic masculinity, man. We can't help it. I don't know, I can see Maribel growing up to be like a school teacher, to be quite honest. And she sure likes to scold the boys. Look at that guy, man. He's a wreck. He's pacing back and forth like a fucking unhinged lunatic. And all account of his wife, too. Coincidence? I don't think so. That's what marriage does to you, man.
Hmm. Nice pot. Check out the pot. The kitty. Wow, man, talking to a priest makes my game lag. Yes, if we come down here, we can get a fragment. Yeah. Yes, what are you doing? Uh, yes, but I'm going to say no to be nice. <laughs> yeah, man, it's bigger on the inside than the outs. Just like that police box on that one show. That lady is sleeping, sitting down in a chair, huh? She could at least find a more comfortable chair if she's gonna do that. Alright, dancer's costume. I would give that to Maribel, but. Uh, it probably sucks. Magic vestment is better. Horse poopy. Find a lot of horse poop in this game. It's not as bad as Dragon Quest Nine, though. That that game turned the horse poop acquisition up to fucking eleven. Of course, there's nothing in the well. Go figure, the old lady. All right, so all the elders' kids are buffoons. Apparently. Hey, are you Hadid? Looks familiar, man. <laughs> Another desert dwelling blowhard. Adventurer's rule book. Hmm. Nice book.
the family isn't our concern yet. We'll be later on in the game. But right now, yeah, don't worry about the family too much. <laughs> Slip of the tongue? Don't say that too loud. We might fire you. What? I don't think makeup is gonna fucking make that old lady look any better. I'm many decades younger! Ho ho ho! Uh huh. <laughs> All these guys look the same. No, you're not seeing triple, man. The Dragon Quest VII's version of the Three Stooges. Wait, who are these guys? They look just like the guys that are arguing upstairs. Yeah, man, this fucking place is going to be in bad shape if they don't get a proper leader. Okay, so we get fish crackers. Yay. I think we have come to this place for the treasure, so let's go to the uh, Desert Palace and do what we can there. Yes. Skin's going to be just as red as your hair there, Maribel. Oh, wait. Yeah. This is that oasis area, right? This is a good spot for a picnic, huh? Or a drunk party by a bonfire? Yeah. Someone's greeting us. Huh? They recognize us? When does this ever happen? Usually we show up to the place in the present and they have no idea who the hell we are. You knew that we would come. Wow. Now that is a welcome. Well, we got treated to a feast the other day, but I think we're about to get another one.
Naferta. Okay. Saviors of the Sands. Why are they telling him to be quiet? We'll take any fanfare we can get. We've been kind of lacking in that regard so far on this journey. Silence, you peasants. Wait until the party starts. Buddy, you finally got it, man. I'm sure you had a nice feast the other day in the past, but now we're getting a real feast. Finally got a fucking greeting and fanfare that we deserve. I don't remember her asking us to keep something safe. Maybe she's talking about the f a fragment, maybe? Alright, man. No complaining about being hungry anymore, Gabble. Probably ate enough food for a week. why you told me all that stuff. So yeah, we can't actually explore up there right now. That'll be uh, like later on, I guess. So let's explore... The Desert Palace in the present time. I think there's like a fragment somewhere in this area that we can get. I know there's at least uh, a bunch of equipment we could find and sell. Of 
queen's garments. Ooh. Exciting. And we get a silk bustier. Which relieve females can equip. There's nothing special about it. Yeah, even though it's better defense than the magic vestment, the magic vestment is superior because it's got the uh, spell resistance. And we get some noble garb, which I don't remember if it's good or not. No, it's nobody can use it. So it's essentially garbage. I think only royalty can wear it. And we get a silver tiara. This might be better than bunny ears. Maybe. No! It is not better than bunny ears. It's got better style. I don't know. It's pretty comparable, though. It's only, like, one defense difference. So if you didn't, for whatever reason, have bunny ears up to this point, I guess that's okay. What kind of armor and weapons do they sell here? Uh, yeah, the magic shield, um, reduces some magic damage by, like, 10 points. Not worth the 5,000 gold, in my opinion. I would save your money. Not worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna be trying to save up my gold for the rest of the game, uh, until we get to a certain point. In which case, I'm gonna be purchasing the best gear in the game. Which is another reason why I want to use the pirate class, because uh, a lot of you know, if I'm if enemies are dropping or if I'm stealing more items at the end of battles with the pirate, uh, more stuff to sell. Although I could just um, exchange for like you know tights or whatever, uh, fishnet stockings with uh, casino tokens, and get money that way. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd rather use my tokens to um, to gamble. Because then I'm going to be going for Metal King Helms, uh, Meteorite Bracers, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Ooh, scholarly people. <laughs> She's pretty pissed about that, apparently. I guess he married the queen. I don't know, I guess... Uh, I guess before all their troubles, like, the elder and his wife were just, like, you know, they were, so they were basically in charge of the town, but I guess the Desert Palace and the town of Abalad uh, join their houses, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, there's three other spirits besides the Earth Spirit. Treasure in that room. What's in here? Oh. Okay. 
Okay. It's good to know. Good to know they got the security squared away. What kind of items do you sell? What? Your 20 offspring all live together? Wow, that's got to be a cramped living arrangement, man. Holy shit. Ah, uh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. And I think we're done up here. Maribel did a good job digging the graves, man. She did a fantastic job with that. Queen Kamanut. And we got Queen Tio. Wow. Can I actually read all these? Could you do this in the PlayStation version? I don't remember being able to do that. Alright, so all the royals got the big headstones, and all the filthy peasants get all the uh, unremarkable ones, I guess. It's a kid looking for his mom. What? Oh. Are you the mom? at. If I talk to him and tell him where you're at, will I get a reward? I guess not. Oh well. Uh, no treasure on this level. Yeah, this floor right here didn't exist. Uh, actually, I think it did exist in the past. You know what? I think I might have actually missed some stuff in the past. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Or maybe I did. Hmm. I seem to remember there being like a basement level. Maybe it was in the pa I think it was in the palace. I might have missed some treasure there, folks. Or maybe it was in the Great Likeness. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, I got the mini metal. You can only get that... The one treasure that you really care about in the Great Likeness is that mini metal. You don't want to miss that. Everything else is... Yeah, it doesn't matter. So yeah, the Great Likeness is still around. treasure room. They're not going to let us have that stuff, huh? But we're the great saviors. Should be hooking us up. Let us through, damn it. Hmm, I don't even know what they're guarding. Oh well. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have to come back here later for something.
kind of boring these guys need is like a fucking sand blower or something man I suppose if they don't do it a few times a day it'll pile up and get all fucking nasty and shit so I suppose that makes sense especially if they get sandstorms in this area This is a pretty cool area, man. A little bit, a little bit too desolate for my taste, but you know what? At least this desert has some nice oases. Or wait, oases? Is that how you say? Is that how you say it? oasis in the plural format? Oh, he's terrified. Yeah, that is terrifying. That's where they flog people. Anyways, that's all for this episode of Dragon Quest 7. Actually, I'm going to go... I'm going to go save my game first. Because, again, like I, like I mentioned before, one of my previous videos that I recorded for a while, I got all the way to the save point, ended the video, and right as I was about to save, the fucking game crashed. And I think it had something to do with the fact that I stopped recording. Because it's happened a few times now. It wasn't just a coincidence. So I'm thinking my recording software does something with the emulator when it stops recording. And the emulator doesn't like it. And it likes to crash. Which is bad. Especially when you're about to save your game after playing for like an hour. That'll ruin your fucking afternoon. See you next time. Bye bye.